jetés par bateau en certains morceaux. project started before it started, which means that uh, when I started the festival in 1967, we already had audio and video recordings. I think it's important to keep the archive. And people said, why? I mean, you, you want to keep all those big tapes, even bigger than that. And uh, what for? I said, well, maybe one day will have a way to bring the message to the, the worldwide audience through different media. This is the only archive in the world. If anything happened here, it's gone. It's a whole history of Montreux, 5,000 hours, it's gone. So with the Ecole Polytechnique Fédérale in Lausanne, we start to study how we could save it and have at least one place with a duplicate of the entire library. First thing, we will, in fact, uh, numerize the whole uh, uh, archives. So we will have uh, a copy at EPFL, and then we will work on that, because this is an incredible... Uh, material for research, you know, going from annotation to visualization to sound uh, tracking, and and this will be, you know, to some extent, uh, the raw material for our uh, scientists and, and and faculty to imagine the world, the media world of tomorrow. Yeah, the ambition of the three uh, entity, which is uh, Audemars Piguet, uh, Montreux Sound, and EPFL, is in fact uh, very much similar. We share the same values. We have a past that we respect. Uh, we have uh, something that we want to transmit to the future generation. And this is done in this area, so there is a regional, to some extent, you know, aspect to it. But all those are global issues. philosophy and our aspirations are absolutely in line. You could even say it's a Swiss made, it's a Swiss brand, this whole project. It has a, a strong local connotation. It has the consideration of tradition, technology, preservation of a patrimony. But it also has this aspect of technology and it has the vocation to be international. So we are very proud and uh, honored to be part of this great adventure.